is Fallon, and today we're going to practice chair yoga, which is a really unique way of practicing. But it's great since I think a lot of us spend a big portion of our days, whether we're in a car or sitting on the couch, or maybe even just sitting on your bed. So it's nice to kind of like shift that relationship to a really mindful space. So now that you're seated, find your feet about hip width distance on the floor, and then let your hands just rest face down on your thighs. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. And then just take a few really deep breaths. Option to shrug the shoulders to the ears on your inhale, filling up. And then with an open mouth exhale, let your shoulders relax on the back. You can do that twice more. Inhale deeply, option to shrug your shoulders to the ears. And open mouth, exhale. One more time, feel free to make as much or as little sound as you'd like. And then with your eyes closed, let your lips seal and start to breathe in and out through your nose. And try to let your breath be even in length and depth. And every time you breathe in, feel the way your spine sits up a little bit taller. And then each time you breathe out, pay attention to the way your feet are connected to the floor. So inhale, very tall spine. Exhale, rounding down through the feet. We'll do that three more times. Inhale for length. Exhale, pay attention to your feet on the earth. And just twice more. Notice the way your breath can create a really calm state of mind. Notice the way your breath can keep you present. And it's okay if your mind decides to travel elsewhere. The simple act of bringing your attention back to the breath is a really great form of meditation. You guys are doing great. So now that we've focused on the breath, we're gonna keep breathing. You'll start to bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Maybe that's enough for you today. Or option to use your right fingertips to just apply a little bit extra pressure. Just make sure you're not pulling or forcing. Yeah, and try to relax the left shoulder if you can. Take two more breaths here. Gently release your right hand back to your thigh, draw your chin to center. And then left ear, left shoulder. Remember, this might be enough for you today. Or option to bring your left hand onto your face. And just creating a little bit extra weight with the hand. Try to relax your right shoulder. You can always close your eyes as well. Remember to deepen your breath. Really nice patience. You'll release your left hand to your thigh and draw your chin to center. Just like we did in the beginning. Inhale, shrug both shoulders to the ears. And then exhale your shoulders down the back. Bring your hands to connect in front of your chest. Bow your chin forward. And take a moment to just thank yourself for showing up to your yoga space can't quite call it a mat since we're sitting on a chair, but thank yourself for trying something new. 
it's really great to give yourself the permission you deserve to be playful, to create new experiences. And from this space, we're able to grow. One more full body breath here. And then on your next inhale, send your hands straight up to the ceiling above you. With your exhale, gentle twist, left hand to your outer right thigh. You can actually use your chair to create a deeper twist. So remember, nothing should feel forced. Inhale, sit up tall. And then exhale, gaze back across your shoulder. Every inhale, creating a little bit more length. Each exhale, you get to explore the twist. You'll come back to center. Inhale, reach both arms really high to the sky, like you could touch the blue sky. Exhale, hands come back to your heart. We're going to take a similar twist on the second side. Inhale, prayer high. And exhale to your left. Right hand follows your outer thigh. I like to use the chair to create a little bit of traction in the spine. But if that doesn't feel good, just let your arm relax at your side. And then follow your breath. Keep each inhale and every exhale really slow and steady. Come back through center, inhale, reach high. And exhale, hands to chest. You're gonna interlace all of your fingers. Stretch the soles of your hands forward, like a good morning stretch. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, bend at your elbows, support the back of your head. So pretend your, he your hands are a hammock and lean your head back into your hands. If it feels good, you can look up towards the ceiling. Notice if you can relax the expression on your face. Maybe you open and close your mouth, relaxing your jaw. You can even close your eyes. And on your next breath in, come back to center. One more time, reach up high. Exhale your hands face down on your thighs. We're gonna move through some stretch for the spine. So inhale, pull your chest forward. Option to gaze up high to the ceiling above you. Exhale, draw your chin into your throat and think about rounding into your lower middle upper back. Really nice. We'll do it twice more. Inhale, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, chin to chest. Gaze at your belly button. One more time. Inhale deeply, opening up through your heart. Exhale slowly, gaze at your belly button. Come back to center. You're gonna place your right ankle on your left thigh. You might need to use your hands. Nice. Then you can let your right hand rest on your thigh and use your left hand to encourage your left foot to flex. And this is a nice stretch for the hips. So your left foot is still grounded. Your spine is really tall. And then I'll encourage you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable. You'll take about six breaths. If it's helpful, you can count the amount of breaths you take. We're all gonna breathe at different pace, so just remember to trust yourself and listen to your own body. I know that you could give yourself a nice foot massage if that felt good for you. Anyone else love a good foot massage? I saw someone doing it, rolling the ankle. Roll the ankle in both directions, nice. I'd say that's about six breaths, so we'll switch it out. 
You're gonna ground your right foot and then place your left ankle onto your right thigh. To start off, left hand rests on your thigh. Use your right hand to flex the foot. Remember that tall spine. You can close your eyes. And then notice what you feel in your body. Notice how you feel in your mind. Use your breath to create the calmness. And if you did so on the first side, give yourself that extra foot massage. Maybe roll out the ankles, because that usually feels good. We spend so much time standing on our feet. Last round of breath here. You can replace your left foot onto the floor. Deep breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, bend your elbows. Think about like a goal post. So your fingers spread really wide. We're going to create a safe back bend. You'll start just by looking up slowly. You can pull the elbows back if that feels good. And then focus on creating a, a string. Imagine there's a string pulling your chest up to the sky. Take three full breaths here. Remembering what you're grateful for. Really nice. Inhale, reach high. Because we did the ankles. Exhale, you're gonna create some circles with the wrist. And let your arms come to your side. I'll do that twice more. Inhale, reach up. Move in different directions, working into the wrist. One more time. Yeah, maybe even just like flutter the fingers. It's just important to pay attention to all parts of the body. We're gonna take a fold. You can see how it feels good for you to get down there. Maybe climb your hands down your thighs. You might need to pick up the heels and then you're just gonna drape your torso across your thighs. And then maybe even release your hands to the floor. Find out what feels good for you. You're stretching the lower back. Relax your head, relax your neck. Even relax your jaw. Three more breaths. And then you'll start to walk your hands back up your shins onto your thighs. Find that nice strong spine. Plant both of your feet onto the floor. If you need to gaze down, make sure your feet are, they're still there first of all and that they're hip width distance apart so you have balance. Inhale, reach both arms high to the sky. Exhale, find that back bend, bend at the elbows. This time you're gonna turn your palms to face down. Nice, we'll do that twice. Inhale, breathe your arms back, open the chest. Exhale, turn your palms to face down to the floor. One more time, we're kind of like a robot. Deep breath in, big breath out. Now pull your elbows towards your rib cage, just to your side body. Pretend you're holding something really important between your two hands, like a present. You're about to give someone a really big present. Feel that traction, the energy that you're building in your upper body. And then you're gonna keep your elbows close to your sides. Now start to fan the arms open to your sides, nice. Exhale, recreate that present of energy between your hands. Twice more, inhale, pull the arms back. Exhale to grab your present. One more time, big breath in. And slow breath out. 
palms face down on your thighs. Close your eyes and reconnect to your breath. Notice the way your breath keeps you present. It's a great tool to practice patience. You guys were all so patient waiting for me today. So I just want to say thank you for your patience. It's a tool of your breath that's keeping you present. The tool of your breath that's helping you stay calm. Take a few more moments right here. Last round of breath. You can blink your eyes to awaken. Join your hands together in front of your heart. And we're gonna interlace the fingers. Think about like a roller coaster. You're gonna to start to just move the arms. There's no right or no wrong way of doing this. But just let your arms move in a way that feels good for your wrist. Maybe you shift from side to side. Maybe you start to create a circle out in front of you. You can get really, really playful and really creative. Take a couple more breaths. Maybe you bring the wrists together. You can do like you just won a trophy or something. Any type of celebration that you want to create for yourself. One more round of breath here. And then you'll come back to center, slowing down. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. And then a slow breath out. We're just going to stretch from side to side. Inhale, prayer high. And exhale, stretch to your right. Keep your feet grounded on the floor. Inhale, float through center. Exhale, stretch to your left. Do that once more each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Come back to center on your breath in. We'll find that hammock once again, interlacing the fingers, support the head. Lean back into your hands. Option to gaze up high. Space between your eyebrows is soft. Your cheekbones are relaxed. Remember, you can open and close your mouth. Final inhale. Exhale, draw your chin to your chest, and then your elbows are going to frame your face. They're not going to touch your nose, but imagine your elbows coming close to the nose. Now you're stretching the back of your neck. Just a few more breaths here. There's not any pulling or tugging. Just a little bit extra of your own body weight. Bring your elbows back wide. And then exhale, arch to your right. Nice, side body sensation. Inhale, float through center. Exhale, stretch to your left. Really good. One more time, each side. And this way you're working out your core. I don't know if you can feel it, but I can. Let's do one more each side, just because we can. Remember to breathe, it's so important. Now come back to center, inhale, reach up high, like you could touch the stars above you, maybe even gaze up high. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale slowly. And exhale slowly. Hands come back to your thighs. This time you're gonna turn your palms to face up. And this is a signal that you're ready to receive. So maybe you close the eyes. And this is just a chance for you to rest. Let your body relax. Let your mind find ease. Notice your thoughts. But really get curious about the breath. Maybe you can even hear the breath. Sometimes people say it sounds like a hair dryer or like the sound of a wave crashing at the shore. And take a few more slow, mindful breaths. All you're doing is receiving the energy that you've created from your practice. You guys have worked really hard. Sometimes it can be challenging to try new things. So give yourself some credit for showing up and practicing probably your first time chair yoga. I don't know about you, but this is one of my first times. So maybe give yourself a round of applause if that feels good, or you can still sit in your stillness. Thank you guys so much for practicing chair yoga. My name is Belle, and if you have any questions, this is a great practice to share with your friends or your family because anyone can do it at any time throughout their day. All you have to do is sit down and let your body move. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for your patience once again, and have a really great week.